In this video, we're going to take a look at how to securely erase a, a hard drive. So let's take a look at some of the steps that, that will be required. Erasing the data will be a great idea if you intend to sell a laptop or PC. So let's take a look at the steps that are required. Of course, the first thing you would do is back up the data um, that you don't want to lose uh, because it will be completely wiped. Optionally, if you plan to install a clean version of Windows, you want to download that and run the Windows Media Creation Tool. I, would, I will use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. And then I will copy the CBL data shredder onto that drive. Um, I will also remove any licensed software from the laptop or PC, such as Adobe Office or the Windows Activation Key using the Software License Manager uh, with the Uninstall Product Key option. Then um, I will change the BIOS setting to boot from the USB drive before booting from the hard drive. Then reboot the laptop with uh, the, the bootable USB drive plugged in, run the data shredder program, and then optionally, if you plan on reinstalling Windows, you can do that now, and then reset the BIOS. So, and here are the links to the tools that, that I'm using. So let's take a look at these tools now. So here's the page with the Windows Media Creation Tool. You just would scroll down, download the tool, and run it. Just follow the directions. The, the Rufus tool that I'm using to create a bootable drive is this tool here on this page. I just download it and run it. The data shredder that I'm using is this CBL data shredder. You would click here and download it. Um, this provides several different methods of erasing a drive. I'm going to use the DOD standard. Uh, there are other options available if you're interested. interested. This does take quite a, quite a long time to do, so allow plenty of time to do this, like in terms of days. Then finally, I made a repo with, uh, on, on GitLab with these tools uh, made available. So now let's take a look at these tools in action. Okay, so now I have um, Rufus already started here. And let me plug in a USB drive. And this is the one that I want to wipe and use as a bootable drive. So I'll, I've selected, that's the one I have. I just plug in and I'm going to use FreeDOS on it. And just to make it known, I'll use, I'll set the volume label to FreeDOS. Uh, the FAT file system is, is fine to run. So I'll go ahead and run that. It gives me a warning that all the data will be removed, which, so make sure you have the, the right drive selected. Then hit OK and we'll let this run. Okay, so that's finished. So we're done with the tool. And now we have a bootable drive, but I also want to copy the data shredder program onto it. So I have that open up. We'll just copy that there. I'll rename it to shred. And then we can eject this and it's ready to drop into the laptop and boot uh, from there. So let's go over to the laptop now. Bring up the start menu, start typing for the command prompt, and we'll run that as the administrator, give it the administrator privileges, and then we'll go ahead and use the software license manager with the uninstall product key option. And go ahead and run that. And in this case, I've already done this, so it gave me an error that the product key was not found. The other license software that I had installed for, for Office has already been uninstalled on, on this laptop. Okay, so now I'll insert the USB drive that we created. It's bootable, so that's good to go. So that when I restart this now, I will drop into the BIOS and change the settings so that it will boot from this USB drive rather than the hard drive. So we'll just wait for this to restart. Okay, so hit the F2 key to drop into the BIOS menu. Page over to the, to the boot screen. And now I will bring the USB storage option up in front of the hard drive so that it will look for something to boot from there before the hard drive. And then we'll accept that save the changes and restart and so now we'll boot into the free bsd drive
Okay, now that we're in free, free DOS, we'll go ahead and run the shred program, which we copied onto it. And now you, it shows two hard drives. So one hard drive is the USB drive and the other hard drive that it's showing is the internal drive on the laptop. And we'll look at the drive size in the, the right column under drive parameters, the drive size. And we'll look for the one that's the 500 gig. That's the internal laptop. So that's the uh, drive that we'll shred. And here are the different options for um, the different methods you can use for wiping the drive. Um, and I'll select the DOD standard option. And then, so yes, we're, we do want to do this. Are you sure? Yes. Do you, do you want to stop? No. Okay, so it's off and running, and this will actually take uh, days to, to complete. Uh, so it, it's a very long time running on this laptop. So I'm actually out of time. The laptop has sold and I need to ship it. Uh, you can see it's on pass three of three. And so we'll stop it here. And I'll just have to rely on two passes being sufficient. And I'll save the report file and then escape to exit out of the CBL data shredder. And you see there's a wiped out report. Let's take a look at that. And uh, after we look at this, I will reboot it with uh, the Windows uh, in there. And you can see it took almost 62 hours. And that was just for two passes. So I've inserted the Windows Media uh, in the USB. And now I'm just going through the Windows installation process. And this is sped up by about a factor of 10, uh, just going through the highlights uh, of the installation. So that about wraps it up, and we'll just let this uh, play on out. Oh, and then I did also, after the Windows was installed, I went back into the BIOS and reset that to uh, boot from the hard drive before trying to boot from the USB. So this uh, laptop is, is now ready to ship out.